Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, but some very sad news today. Uh, Bremster, longtime friend of the channel, had recently um, basically given up doing anything else to go and attend his dad, who was in palliative care and struggling. Um, and we got sent this puzzle because Bremster had created it just before he started doing that and sort of shut down his operations to... Um, to publicise about his, it's got his dad's birthday featured heavily in it, the 18th of the 12th, 1945. And uh, we were happy to do that. And just as I was beginning to set this up in the software, we got another message to say that very sadly, Bremster's dad had indeed died today. So I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, we have had several messages since, in fact, um, mentioning this to us and asking us to pass on the condolences of the entire Sudoku community and as much as we can speak that speak for them I am very happy to do that you certainly Bremster um, have Simon and my Simon's and my heartfelt sympathies and uh, I believe that that is true throughout the discord server everybody who's come across you which is most people in variant Sudoku and anyone who knows you at all so we're very sorry for you and your dad and your family, and um, we wish you the best of luck. Um, take your time, my friend. Take your time. So, I'm very happy to have a go at the puzzle and to uh, tribute it, of course, to Bremster's dad. Um, and we will do that. So, I will keep the commercial stuff down to a minimum. You know where you can find Patreon and Discord. and uh, Well, Discord I do recommend not commercial, Patreon and merchandise and the apps, they're all on the links under the video. But let's have a look at this puzzle which Bremster created for his dad. And it's, sorry, it's normal Sudoku rules. So one to nine goes in every row, column and box. And on green German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So those two couldn't be a 3 and a 7, the difference wouldn't be big enough, but they could be a 3 and a 9, for instance. Uh, in the cages, digits don't repeat, and they sum to the number shown, um, which are, of course, these important numbers, 18, 12, and 45. Sorry, I just must get myself together a bit um, and answer the general question of, do we carrying on doing Sudoku in very sad times? Well, we do, and... Uh, you know, we can also sympathise with uh, the dreadful events in Turkey and Syria where there was an earthquake and uh, at my old school where there was a bizarre um, family tragedy. Anyway, we will carry on. We will do our puzzle and we will focus on that for a while and that will that will drive some of the demons away for some people and that's what we want. So, let's have a look at this. Um, we've got the rules of German Whisper. I don't know anything about the puzzle in terms of difficulty. It hasn't been through testing or anything like that by people we know, but that's not a problem. So, I'm going to have a go at this and uh, see how we get on. So, let's just restart my clock. Okay. So, we get to do a little bit of Sudoku with the ones. Uh, we get to put a one there in row three, and that's useful because it determines the polarity of this German whisper line. The low digits have to alternate. Now, what we know about German whisper lines that you may not, if you're new, is that they don't have fives on, because five doesn't have a difference of five with any other Sudoku number. And the digits therefore alternate between high, higher than five and lower than five digits. Now here, we've got lower than five digits in blue, which is the color I like to use for that. That can't be a one or a two though. This can't be a one. It also can't be a four. And this is, oh, well, because of that. Okay, we'll get, we'll get back to the point about neighbors that see each other in a moment, which sounds very voyeuristic and is not meant to be. Um, <clears throat> now, what do we know about the high digits? Not much. Okay, well, we know this isn't a six because its neighbours see each other. What do I mean by that? I mean that if this was a six, 
its neighbours would both have to be ones, because that's the only digit that's five away from six. And forgetting the fact for the moment that there are ones in all sorts of places to prevent that being the, clay, the case, they couldn't be ones anyway because they would see each other in the row. So that can't possibly be a six. It must be, well, I was going to say seven or nine, but I'm actually ruling out seven because of this being a three or a four. In fact, I think the example I gave at the beginning was that that couldn't be a three, seven pair. So the same is true for a four, seven pair. So that's a nine. This also can't be six for the seeing its neighbor's reason. Um, but I don't think that's really advanced our cause very much. We need to try and get into this German whisper, I reckon, the long one, and see what the polarity is. Now, here is interesting. If these were high digits, and they must alternate, remember, yeah, this does it. If these were high digits, the minimum they could be is 6 and 7. Uh, actually, they could both be 6 and 6, if that could be a 1, which I notice now it can't. But anyway, that would still be too high to make the 12 cage work. So those are low, and we can paint the alternating digits on that with a low polarity, and the high digits are orange two highs there and a low. The trouble is that doesn't really help disambiguate the 18 and the 12 cage very much. Let's actually color the ones, the givens, as low and high also. Um, just to see if that's telling me anything else that I didn't know before. It doesn't really. This can't be a two, so it's one or a three. This 45 cage, 45 is the secret number that totals all the digits 1 to 9, and therefore, then this is the secret, is the total of every row, column, and box in a Sudoku, and also, in this Sudoku, the total of this cage. So, at some point, we might be able to add the digits in it and deduce what the last one or two are, but that point has not arrived. Now, this could be low. It's not connected to that on the line. If it was low, then we'd have the four lows in this cage already done. Would that matter? Not particularly, actually, no. OK, I'm going to look at these two cells instead, then. The low did, there is a low digit on those two cells, because one is low and one is high. And that low digit is two or three. So the high digit can't be 6, it's 7 or 9. It also can't be 8 because of that being in the box. Now is that any use? There is another low digit here, but this time it could be 4 if it was sitting there. If it's sitting here, it's going to have to be a 3. Ah! Right, that doesn't work. This can't be low. OK, if this was low, and I'll just show you what happens, you can't have one or two because it sees them. If you had a four, the neighbours would see each other. They'd both have to be nines. If you had a three, the neighbours don't see each other necessarily, but eight and nine would have to go in there, and this can't be either of those. So it's not three, and it's not blue, and it therefore is orange, and therefore we know where the high digits on this thermo go as well, and correspondingly where the low ones go, that is now 2 or 3, that is 7 or 9. This is low, 2, 3 or 4. We've got all the lows in the top row. That's 7 or 9, it can't be 6 because of the neighbours seeing each other. These are a bit less power... Oh, since this can't be 1, that can't be 6 either. OK, that's something. Now, we've got all four blues in the top row. I'm wondering if I should switch, which sometimes helps, to colouring the bottom four cell, the bottom four digits blue and the top five orange, including the number five, just because it might help colour the grid a bit more. But I don't think so in this puzzle. I think there's so much of the grid that is not going to be coloured, that it probably isn't the way to go. 
five. Five has to be in one of those two cells. That's been obvious from the start and I hadn't noticed it. So five's in one of those two. Five, one, four, now. It's quite interesting. If that wasn't a four, then that would be a six because it would see all of the other digits in various forms. If that was a two, three pair, it would see both two and three as well as four, one, five, eight, and a seven, nine pair. For that not to be six, six is in one of those and therefore up here. Hmm, I mean the possibilities are reducing considerably, but not not quite enough to f let me figure out exactly what's going on. Um, okay, I'm flicking all around the place at the moment trying to figure out that is not one because it sees a one. That is not one because its neighbours see each other. That is not one because it sees a one. That one could well be. Now, these have to add up to at least seven. Uh, sorry, at least five, leaving seven as the maximum number here. Oh, that's quite interesting. They don't have to add up to at least five. I'm quite wrong about that. And that's a relief, because if they did add up to five, they would be a two and a three, and then a seven would be next to a three, and that would break the puzzle. But, of course, these can be the same digit, and just as they can't be one, just because they can't be one, doesn't mean they can't both be two. And, indeed, I think that is the only way to get this to work. If you made those add up to six or more, that would be too small to have the right relationship. So those are both twos. And then to make the cage work, this is an eight. And although we don't have the difference of five appearing anywhere now, it was the difference of five that enabled us to get there, which is quite strange. That can't be an eight now. This can't be a two. And that's interesting because now these cells both have to be eight or nine to chime with that. So we put 9 in there because it sees this 8. This is 8 or 9. That 9 looks up to 7 here which sees 9 in its box. Now these... oh hang on. Now, now I've gone wrong. That cannot be 7 because neither this can't be a 1-2 pair. So I have done something wrong and I will rewind. I don't know how long ago I did something wrong. That's quite embarrassing. Right, I might go back to nearly the start. Okay, I'm really comfortable about the first deduction. Which, on well, I'm certainly comfortable about putting one there. That's all right. How did I get that to be? Yeah, that nine's all right. Okay. Now, these had to be low in the 12 cage, the two similar polarity digits, otherwise it just wouldn't work. That's fine. Okay, that was just colouring. Then I made this one or three, because it can't be four. That's all right. Two or three is the low digit on those cells with a seven or nine. That's right. Although somewhere up here it goes wrong. So I then decided that was low because it couldn't be three or four. I'm comfortable with that and the general colouring well, sorry, it wasn't low because it couldn't be three or four, is what I mean to say. So highs and lows marked there. Now, at this point, surely I know that is not a seven because it would be next to a three or a four. So let's start there instead and put a nine in there. Does this have to be at least seven? Yes, it does. That goes next to a two. OK, we'll try it this way around. That's a 1 or a 2 now. This one I don't know much about. Now, I'm going to go back here. So this, I said that this couldn't be a 1. Now, you see, that's what I did wrong. Sorry about that. But I've got it now. Why, why can't it be a 1? I'm just madness. Stop me. I said it couldn't be a 1 because its neighbours see each other. It's a 4 that that stops it being. Sorry. So that's two, three, or four. Right. Well, 
Now we can look at this, which isn't a 9, and say that is 7 or 8. can't be a 6 because its neighbours do see each other. It could be a 7, but that would put a 1 here. It could also be an 8. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is where it's going to tell me that this is a 1, but I just need to figure out... Right, if this was a 3 in this cell, that would have to be at least 8. But since that can't be one, the 12 cage would break. So that's one or two, which is a pair for what it's worth. Now, if this was a two, we'd have to have at least a seven here. But two, seven, two doesn't add up to the right number. So we'd have to go two, eight, two. And that breaks if this was a two, Oh, it breaks if that's a 2-8 pair. That's the problem. Because then this becomes a 7, and this has no fill once that's a 2. Wow. Okay, that's slightly complicated, and I lucked into it by going the wrong way around at first. But that now has to be a 1. Um, it doesn't really tell me what this is. It's the complement of either 5, 4, or 3. So it's 7, 8, or 9. Not actually very useful, but it does tell me what this is. That's a 2. This is 7, 8, or 9. This is 2, 3, or 4, because it can't be 1. Now, 5 is, again, still in those cells somewhere. So I hadn't really advanced much beyond this anyway. Okay, so what next? We need a 1 in one of those cells. Seven and eight. Nine is somewhere there. That's not very useful. This isn't really going to feed on into this 45 cage. That can't be a six. This could be, though. This is high, and I don't know anything about it. Hmm. That is three or six, just in terms of the digits it sees. That's all that's left as a possibility. Now, this can't be a three, seven pair. Is that significant? If that was a three, that would be eight. No, I don't see how to use that. This doesn't have either nine or four on it. That that can come later, that little two-cell thingamajig. Um, one in this box is in one of those two cells. I don't know how to use that either. Right, I <laughs> need to come up with something else in this puzzle. Excellent puzzle, Bramster. Um, now, where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, this 18 cage. That obviously can't be a 4, since this can't be a 9. Yes, OK, so now these are adding up to 9, 10, or 11, leaving 7, 8, or 9 there. However, if this was a 7, that would have to be a 2, and we couldn't get to the right number with that one. So it's not a 7. That is 8 or 9. If that was a 3... These two would have to be, an, they'd have to add up to 15. That's quite interesting. That can't work. Because that would put 8 there and 7 there. You'd have 3 next to a 7. So that's a 2. Now these two add up to 16. But they could both be 8s. And I don't know how to finish that off. But I got my 2 here. Which was a little bit of a surprise. Does it help? doesn't immediately look like it helps me much. Um, maybe I need to think about one of the possibilities here, because these are either 8, 8, or 9, 7. Or maybe I need to think about the fact that these two add up to 11. They can't be 7, 4, therefore, because they would be too close together. Uh, 8, 3 would be all right, and of course 2, 9 would be... Ten, 
hasn't really knocked on up the puzzle, has it? Now, if that was 8-8, eight, eight, then this would be a 9 and that would be a 2. What does that do? It doesn't do anything. Um, oh, where's 5 in this cage? That's suddenly very obvious and has been obvious from the absolute get-go because 5 can never be on a German whisper. It's the only place available. Therefore, 5 is in one of these cells in box 7, one of these in box 8. So, these two are the same polarity. That means that these two are the same polarity. Because we already have two of each polarity in here and the 5. If they're the same, then those two are the same. What does that tell me? Answer, not a lot. Now, I can't see how that's obviously helpful yet. If that was blue, that would be blue. I feel that would almost certainly put a 9 in the corner, but I cannot use that. Crikey! Not finding this. Oh, there's a 3-4 pair in the top row. Wake up! That gives me a 2 there. So this can't be a 2. And that means by the whisper rule, this can't be a 7. Now, that is 3. It can't be 3 because of the pair. 5, 6 and 7 are the digits I still have to place in the top row. 3 is in one of those two cells. If that's a 4, we've got a 9 here. No, I don't know. Three being in one of those two cells, all that tells me is that one of those two is a three, but I can't see a reason why I know which one it is yet. Um, that digit is six or seven. Where does... if it was six... Where would it appear in the 45 cage? In one of those two. But if it was 7, it could extend out to there. That's annoying. Actually, it could be there. Yes, that's one of those two. Oh, come on, Mark. 1 is in one of those two cells in box 8. It's probably about this 45 cage now, and there's something very clever that I can't see. If that was blue, and that was blue, therefore, what would be happening here? Well, yes, OK, these four would see each other. Yeah, that's it. So one of those would be a four, and that would be a nine. That would be in one of these positions. That's not very useful. No, I'm not seeing I'm wondering about the 7-9 possibility and where it throws the other 7 and 9 in columns 1, 2, 3, but it doesn't do anything very interesting with them as far as I can see yet. So, if these were low, one of them would be 4. Um, if they were high, they would make up the six, seven, eight, nine quadruple in the region, in the cage, I mean. Then one of these would be four. I cannot see what use this is. Right, OK. Here's, here's another little thought, though. Where does 4 go in box 9? Well, not in those cells from the given. It could be there. But otherwise it's in the cage. And it could be there. And then these are both high. Otherwise, well, I mean, there are possibilities here. 
If it's not in one of those two, then in this row, that's a 5-4 pair. If he says as if it has some significance, it doesn't to me yet. Maybe it is this box, though, with that triple high-digit combination that seems, seems interesting. Four in box two is in one of those cells. Oh, goodness, this is not easy. This is not easy. What's going on here? The low digit on these. Is it a three? If it's a three, that's quite powerful. Then it would have to be a three eight pair here. That would be a four nine pair. You'd have, oh, look, five five. We, that is definitely a five. Just the column seven five has to be there. Okay, then if this was, what was I saying? If this was a three, was the low digit here, this would be three eight. Four nine, you've got five there. One, two, seven, six would become a quadruple in the final row. I can't quite dig my way out of this. Is this really interesting? I was the, the other thing I was thinking was if one or two is on that, i.e. three isn't then that one or two must be on this green line. But actually that wouldn't be something very helpful to conclude at all, I don't think. So who cares is my, my answer to that little thought that came into my brain. Um, right, that's... That pair adds up to 11. If they were... If they were 9-2, these... Oh, that's interesting. If they were 9-2, these would be from 8, 7 and 6. One of them would be low enough to stop that being a 3. Yes, that's true. Whereas if these were 8-3, that is stopped being a 3. So that is a 1. Wow. That's a surprising find. Now, we can't have another one in this cage, so the one in the row is here. Okay, so those are high. On account of highs and lows in this box, those are low and are from two, three, and four because they can't be one. That's also not one. Therefore, this isn't six. Therefore, we now have a seven, eight, nine triple in this box. Gosh, that's clever. Um, I don't know anything about those digits except that they're different from each other. But 8791, so other digits in this box are not very high. Oh, that can't be a 2. This includes a 5, and it doesn't include 1, 7, 8, 9, or 2. So there is a high digit in these, not interesting. This is a group of two, three, four. They're not all seeing any particular place, I don't think. Oh, I just feel like I'm getting closer, <laughs> considerably closer now, and yet I don't see how it helps. Um, could be there but it could also be down here okay that becoming a one hasn't really helped on the whisper line itself but this okay if that was a three it would be here with an eight for the cage total and that would become a nine So that 8 would also force a 7 there and a 9 there. So we'd have 9s in these positions, which is quite powerful about 9s. We've got one up there, of course, as well. 
9 somewhere. Trouble is, it kind of peters out. We get a 9 in one of those two spots. No, it has to be in column 8. Yeah, this is almost good. We've got nines in these positions. We get a nine in one of those two. And a nine in one of those three. I mean, it would work, but it would have stopped this being a nine, for instance. And all of the other ones in this 45 cage. What does that do? Come on, Mark. Think it through. If that's not a 9... Sorry, if that's not an 8, then that's a 9. Oh, that's interesting. So, 9 can't actually be here. I mean, I hadn't seen that, but it, it seems to be true. Because if that's an 8... That makes this a 3 and that makes this a 9. Yeah, that is an odd relationship between those items. Um, come on, I'm, get, I'm getting there now, gradually. Probably don't need that many big deductions from this point. 2 in row 8 is in one of those positions. If it was there, that would be the two in the cage. That's fine. Yeah, that doesn't do anything I, I can't handle in the puzzle. Just not finding the right question to ask at the moment, am I? If that was three, maybe that's the question. If that was three, this would be eight. So this would be 9 by the whisper rule. So if this is 3, we get a 7 here, and that's 2, not 3. Which I would have known for a totally different reason if this was 3. Ah, but the other way round... Oh, hang on, what? That doesn't work. That's so weird. If this is 3, that's an 8 by the whisper rule. That's a 9. So this is 7. And this is 2. But if that's a 2, where does 2 go in box 8? And if we've placed a 3 there, it's gone. So that is not a 3. That was it. That is very complicated and very clever. So that's a 2. That's a 9 to make the cage work. So it's a better do something good for the puzzle, but ah, oh, these possibilities have only got one resolution now. If that's right, this is three and eight to make that whisper work. That feels good. Okay. Now that's become a nine. This has become a four. That's not a four. The four in the cage is here. Neither 2 or 3 can be on there because of this rather neat juxtaposition of 2 and 3 in this box. They both see these cells. So the low digit on those cells is not 2 or 3 or 4, it's 1. Now that doesn't narrow down the field for the high digit, but it does nothing else because I've got the 1s in columns 8 and 9. Bother, bother, bother. It tells me what the high digit is on that. Um, come on, we're, we're, we're moving now, though. Surely something is coming good. Two and two. This is Sudoku. That's a two. Um, that's a three by killer rules. These are not seven and eight by killer rules. I didn't spot that. I should have done. Six and nine. We've got them placed. Now, up this column, we've got a 7 or 8 there and a definite 2 here, which I can even colour. That gives me a 2 here, which I can also colour. And that's all the 2's done, I think. How are we getting on with 1's? Oh, it's just these groups of 1's left over. Uh, 3, 
three. One of those two is a three. Something there. Oh, no. Okay. When I put that two in, clashing with that two, it was foolish, asinine, moronic, and also inane. Because the number I need in this column is a three. And that's got to go in here. It wasn't a two. That wasn't the low number I needed. It was a three. There we go. This is seven or eight. That's better. That's better. Oh, that was a terrifying moment. I'd got it all messed up again. But it was just a slip of the pen or a misread. Anyway, never mind what it was. It's over. That is the last two in box six. And that's the last two in the grid. And they're both blue. There we go. Seven or eight is obviously orange. This is a 7-8 pair in the box, so that's now a 6-1 pair. And that is 7 or 8. All of these 7 or 8s are orange, as are those two cells. We're going now. That's not a 3-4. That's a 5-6 pair. Can't colour them. But this is a 3-4 pair, which I can not only colour, but also specify. Um... Two doesn't the German whisper rule doesn't decide those. Okay, let's look up this column maybe. That is a naked six, which is helpful. It sees all the other Sudoku digits in its row and column. So that's a five seven pair. That's a six. Now I'm just getting left with seven eight pairs in box in uh, the right hand boxes. Five seven one two six four. Four, still haven't decided. That's become a three, which is blue, like the one that I never coloured down at the bottom. That's an eight, nine pair. They're orange. That is where four goes, and that's where three goes, and they are both blue. And now we're getting there. So that's become a four, five and six in those cells. Keep, keep it coming. Um, that is five or seven. No, I don't know which. Thought I would. That eight is looking at that, which is going to sort out all my seven, eight worries. No, not quite all of them, but some of them. Ah, eight there looks at this, and that fixes this cage. Oh, which couldn't have repeat digits in by the rule. Oh, I'd forgotten we had killer rules applying, and I was allowing that to have a repeat digit in my brain, in my foolish, foolish brain. Oh well, there we go. Sorry, you'll have done this puzzle quicker than I will, because that will have made a big difference. That will have got that digit, I think, a lot earlier. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It might well have made a big difference. I can't tell at this stage. Anyway, we've got a 346 triple in here. Below it, we've got a 589 triple, where we can write in the 9, but not the 58. Um, might as well keep colouring while we can. Seven, seven, that's a seven. Uh, that's a seven by Sudoku, which is handy because it gives me the five at the top and a seven next to it. Seven, four, nine, two, eight, three. Oh, come on, it must be done now. The nine in this column seems to be there. 7219, that is 5 or 6, forming a pair. So then I can place 4 and 3, colour them both. Six and four there. Oh, six gets coloured as well, doesn't it? Now eight in this column uh, it might be there, it's not certain yet. Two, eight, five, seven, four, nine, two, eight, three. That is one, five, or six, which is part of a triple in this row. So it's eight in the row that is definitely there. Um, and that does fix eight, five, and some colour. And now this is five or six. It must be six. Ooh, that was right. Okay, five, six, five, not five. Two, five, four, one, and three to go in these cells. They are both blue. 
the one fixes six one everything is getting unwound I can color all my sixes orange and we've got a four and a five to go there not those colors but those numbers there we go that four is both of those are blue in fact and I think that does all the coloring and when I fill in this one we're correct and uh, that is a very good puzzle that I have botched quite badly first with an error early on and then by not realizing that those couldn't be double eight for the obvious killer rule so well done if you did that quicker than I did um, very very many condolences again to Bremster and his family um, good luck to his dad hope to see you again with with generally better tidings on the channel tomorrow but all our condolences to Bremster and hope to see you then bye for now